Hello everyone and welcome to Beam Saber the Cenotaph part 27. I am your host Austin Ramsey. My pronouns are he him. You can find me on Twitter at not an in and you can find the rules for Beam Saber and my other game design at austin-ramsey.itch.io. As always, this stream is presented by You Don't Meet in an Inn, an actual play podcast about exploring obscure tabletop role-playing games with a diverse rotating cast. This week, I am joined by Ray. Oh, hi. I'm first today. <laughs> hi, I'm Ray. You can find me on Twitter at RayRayTheGayGay uh, or my itch page. Uh, um, uh. Ray <laughs> in the Fog. You- Rainthefog.itch.io. I forgot how you say it pages. Uh, how you say them <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, we have with us Jess. Hey guys, I'm Jess. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Twitch.tv at Quasinim. Q U A S I N Y M. Yes, that is mixing a Latin and a Greek root. No, I do not care. Love you all. She her pronouns. <laughs> Thank you very much. Also with us is Sasha. Hi, I'm Sasha. Uh, I use NNs on this, I think. Um, thank you. I'm going to get used to it. Um, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Sasha underscore Renell. You can follow my game dev stuff at TCabbage. Thank you. And last but never least is Takuma. Hello, I'm Takuma. My Twitter is at Takuma underscore Okada underscore. Uh, my pronouns are they and she, and you can find my games at noroadhome.itch.io. Great. Okay. So, this week we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to be doing downtime in the middle of a mission. And the reason for that is that your time frame for this mission is one week. So you do have some time to recuperate. Uh, Presumably you would have done it before getting through three quarters of the uh, mission. Mm. (laughs) But but that's fine. You all certainly paid the price for pushing ahead. Yeah, we did in fact do yeah. that. Is it really paying the price if we don't learn our lesson? <laughs> I mean, whether or not you learn something at the University of Hard Knocks, you still got to pay the tuition. So, this downtime activity is also kind of strange because you're not going to be doing it at your FOB. You're going to be doing it either in the Saint of March's headquarters. You can, if you want to, go back up there. Or in the Twindler and Red headquarters below the Saints of, Sa- March of Saints headquarters. Which means that there is going to be some restrictions on what you can do. For example, most of the time when you've had downtime activities in the past, they have immediately followed after completing a mission. Which means that you got the typical reward structure, the changes in trust, a supply roll, the free uh, upkeep downtime activity that comes with that. But you're not going to get any of that. You're going to have to spend downtime activities if you want to refresh your vehicle's quirks. And another problem, and this is the bigger one, is that because you are not at your FOB, Unless someone declares that they have, I can't remember what the specific term is. It's a vehicle item. I'm going to Mm -hmm. check it right now. Unless someone has spends two load on supply reserves, which allows the squad access to their supply points during downtime, even if the fiction says that they should be unable to access them. Right. (laughs) Because you are not at your base. So unless someone has two load they can spare on their vehicle, y'all don't have your materiel or personnel, and you only have your personal cash. Fun. 
Yeah. Of course, there's a... F Go ahead, Ray. Does that mean we can't heal, or...? Well, I mean, you can heal. You have a doctor with you. Yeah. But you can't spend personnel points to change t the dice roll or the results of that. Okay, yeah. That Sorry. said, you are in this abandoned facility. So, if you want to do a salvage downtime activity to try and, like, rip the copper wiring out of the wall, so to speak, and then get some resources out of that. Didn't you know? say no stru structural damage? Yeah, that's... That, okay, so ripping the copper wiring out is a bad example. But, you know, just, like, yeah, taking... Sorry, that's literally. <laughs> scavenging this abandoned facility, going all fallout uh, on it. And just taking whatever isn't nailed down with a downtime activity. The other thing you can do is that if you have personal cash for your pilot, you can spend two of those for one personnel or one materiel, as is typical of the rules. This represents you, you know, paying the mar March of Saints for... Uh, some some supplies so yeah i think that that uh checks out everything that is a little odd about this oh actually so there's one there's one more thing or a pair of things which is that the march of saints and the shadespear squad are both going to get squad roles to see how well their own goals are going during this time. Since you have a bit of a truce with the Shadespear squad and the March of Saints, there's not going to be any trouble unless y'all start it, but they are going to be going, working towards their own objectives. Now yeah. I'm done. Power's probably going to start it. <laughs> <laughs> they have to, they have to roll cut loose. Uh, this downtime, and they just healed all their stress. So. Oh no, no, no! Because you got a scar last session, which means you don't need to cut loose. Oh, I'm I'm a dumbass. I also did get four stress, so I may do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Yep. Um, can I use cook the books here? Uh, I will have to have a look at the wording of it, but I think that. It is an additional yeah. supply roll. And yeah. I think um, uh, uh, using my fake ID with the, uh, the various AI, uh, supply AI down here would be uh, at least a, a good I like thing. how in my mind the way I formulate this is like you're walking up to a cafeteria worker. It's like, I totally have a Flex account. <laughs> Just look it up. Yeah, I think you absolutely can cook the books down here. Um... What was the last mission that y'all did before this one? That was the one for uh, Lady Elrath, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And... and and yes, and the rubble runs that that difficult difficult mission. Uh, so yeah, the way that cook the books works is that you do it with the you roll the supply roll from the last time that you would have had one. So. Okay. So, how are you, uh, how are you getting L Lady Elreth to, uh, <laughs> deliver some stuff here? <laughs> we got connections. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just curious what the fictional framing of this is. Hey, you want to grab a pizza? <laughs> also, maybe pick up some military hardware on your way? Just, you know, a little, a little something. Uh. Hmm. All right. Well, that was not the that was not the patsy I had in, in mind. Um. <laughs> and I think you already used cook the books on her once already. I mean that that doesn't change the mechanics of this, but it's very amusing the idea of you just like keep calling back and be like, yeah, we didn't get that stuff we were supposed to get. She's our weed guy. <laughs> It's called a plug. 
if y'all have got uh, ideas, I'm open to them. I have a suggestion, if no one else does. Which is that you basically just have one of her people do a dead drop in the broken bank. Or even just drop it off at the clinic and then you just go back to the surface and tell Toothsir, Hey, I gotta get some stuff from my clinic for what we're doing down below. That seems straightforward. Yeah. I'm gonna do that when I have stress to burn, though. <laughs> Which is not now. Yeah, you, uh, you got, you got, you got one stress left. I do. I need two Ooh. to do this. Yeah. <laughs> no, you need to not burn that. So I think I'm gonna, uh, if, if it's, if it's all right with, with y'all, I think I'm gonna cut loose real quick. Uh. Makes sense to me. So I've taken this over to the play screen. Excellent. So, who are you cutting loose with? With oh. uh, your first downtime activity? Really could be anybody. Because um, I also have uh, work hard, play hard, which means that they also get to roll stress, which is super helpful here because we have very little <laughs> limited uh, resources. Um, um, I will ask, uh, because you have work hard, play hard, don't do it with me. Because okay. I wanna, I wanna have a scene later. Because I wanna fill my clock with dredge. Cool. Yeah. Um. Um. Just gonna little ch little chibi scarecrow dancing up and down. It's like I have eight stress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like maybe uh, Jess wants that cut loose with dredge. Happy for it. Yeah, that that works. That works really well. Um. More bullying? Yes! Uh... What? What did... How do you cut loose down here? Uh, that is a good question. Oh, also, as a note, like, Harlan Smythe and Claire and the Shadespear Squad are just, like, moving about through this facility at the same time. So, like, you know, you're passing them in the halls. And, like, no, they aren't, like I said, they're not going to start shit, but, like, you are seeing them as they're wandering around. Um, I do have a suggestion for Cut Loose, if that's okay. Um, what if you, like, find their rec room and they've just got, like, a pool table and a bunch of old arcade <gasps> machines? I love the pool table. <laughs> and, like, a foosball table and shit. Oh yeah. my god, it's like, uh, it's like in Tacoma when you're visiting the space station and you, like, get into the main, like, common area, and it's just yeah. like, you can, you can play with a dartboard, you can play pool there, but no one's there, it's just the digital ghosts left. Yes! Oh, that's really good, that's what it is! It's literally what, it's so good, that's so good. Oh, another thing that I just recalled, if you, you remember from last week, uh, Dredge, you got a consequence, which was the AI realizing that your cover ID was fake. So I guess that happened. Yeah, it did. It very much did. So I like that's not going to prevent most things mechanically, but like y'all don't have access to restricted authorization spaces. And you're not, for instance, going to re like go to the auto mill and just be like, we we have some time to kill. Let's pump out thirty bears. Okay, well, I was thinking, I was thinking of at least get get that getting that bear repaired, but I I'll take it, I guess. More um, like repaired. Mm-hmm. That's that's the one. <laughs> well, you can you can repair it yourself. <laughs> Uh, that's probably it. Build a bear a workshop. Long term. <laughs> I, this really is a wall. Holy shit. We've got everything out here. <laughs> okay. So you're cutting loose with the uh, scarecrow in the the rec room of this facility? Yeah. Um, and build a bear workshop. I, th I think. Hmm. 
I, I think that Dredge, like, um, breaks the, like, machine, the, uh, which one? The vending machine a bit to get snacks out of it. Um, uh, and, like, passes, um, passes Riza, like, a, a, a soda. And, um, I, th I, I think two, 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 two details I'm thinking here. Um, one, I actually think what would be really cool um, is actually instead of having like a physical pool table or something in the middle, you just have like this blank table in the middle and AR will create like foosball or pool or air hockey depending on what, you know, players request. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and like... two, I think uh, because of the lockout and security being like, you're not personnel really, are you? Um, there is like a little bar in the corner and there's just a big AR red X over it and Reese is just giving that the stink eye. <laughs> like she accepts the soda and she'll drink it and she's grateful. But she's just like, ah, we're playing pool. Yeah, it could have been better. Um, it's a pool it is then. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, Cole, load up that program. How good is, is Reza at pool? I think Riza is a shark. An absolute shark. <laughs> Dredge is astonishingly bad. <laughs> and I, I, I think the way this goes is Riza starts, you know, she, she's, she, I think instinctively, because, you know, she spent a lot of time meandering and like that road life. So she instinctively starts in shark mode. Is like, oh, I missed that shot. How did that happen? Ooh, better put twenty bucks on that. You'll be, be kicking my ass in no time. And then, as she watches Dredge play, she just kind of never ramps it back up. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of two people playing very bad. Uh, good. I, that's 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 very good. Yeah. So are we, are we having any conversation? Or is this more of like a silent kind of brooding kind of pool? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think about what happened the last time. Um, Riza dropped a surprising amount of knowledge about uh, units that don't exist. Hmm. That is just a point I'm raising. And seems quite dense about it. So, uh, do you have any other uh, Black Ops squads that you're still buddy buddy with that we should keep an eye out for, or was it just this one? Uh, two things. One, um, I resent that remark. It's libelous. Um, two, um, Shade Spear is not a squadron. It is a. What's the word I'm looking for here? It's um. Program. Yeah, it's it, it's a program. There's, well, no one is supposed to know how many Shade Spear units are in operation at any given time, how many exist, how many are in potential for activation, but um, yeah, no, just um. I know a little bit about these guys. So how come you got stuck with us and not with them? And um, I think you say that as she's lining up a shot. Mm -hmm. And then she puts that on the stick for a moment. And actually, no, no, no. I think what she does is she just lets it go and hangs in the air, like mm -hmm. an a astronaut style. Mm -hmm. And she like looks up over the table. She, uh, she was leaning over it. She looks up and she places her hand through some of the air. Like, I think she places her hands through the AR bumpers onto the table. Leans up. She taps the scars. So you couldn't pass muster, I guess. Sorry, if you don't use your words, I have to. Be, I have to guess. You, you, you see her arm twitch, <laughs> and you get the distinct feeling that she was about to throw her soda at you. <laughs> um. And. At this point, actually, um, she holds up some kind of hand gesture, which I think, like, puts the game on hold, like, backs it to memory and just kills the AR for a moment. Mm. Um, like, she puts it to sleep mode, and then she just... 
turns around for a minute, does a little bit of pacing, and then sits down on one of the benches. And she's she's doing that like power sit where it's like you know legs spread, elbows on legs, looking down, you know, m- bit morose. And then she looks up and says, "The thing about a Shakespeare unit is, it's not about making the cut. It's about being a part of something." And well, you can't be a part of something if you're the only part left. Hmm. So you are a Shakespeare unit. Technically, never commissioned. Look, these guys, you raise them for kids. That's the only way you get them this mean. You don't take some NCO and give him all this black bag training and make him the best that they can be. That's not how this works. You want loyal, silent, unquestioning, and efficient, and cohesive, and synergistic fucking... There's a whole manual, and it's all in here. You want that. And the only way you make that is you raise it from birth, and you raise it together. You can't... I, you can't put me in another Shakespeare. I'm not a piece of that. So no. Technically, no. I was almost there, though. Uh, or as close as I, I, I could possibly say. Yeah. And I think she's not necessarily shutting down the conversation, but she's just like, she doesn't want to tangle with this thread. You can see she's upset, so she walks back up to the table, pulls out the gesture again, and takes her shot. And this one's a this one's a banger. This one sinks two balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's uh, a drenched guess is that that's the end end, end of that thread. Um, and uh, c- continues to lose a, a game of pool very badly, but like seems to be enjoying herself anyway. Yeah. I, I, Ko does, does does occasionally say, you know, you know, it's just math, and continues to lose very badly. Um. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> you you know what I think happens, w- and um, Ko says that I think because it's AR, they actually do have like a perfected version of that like predictive lighting thing. That oh yeah, you- they've totally got the and so like, so like you know, you pull down the menu and like you know, player dredge. Enable kitty mode. <laughs> it's 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 like the bumpers at bowling. I think I think that's the social <laughs> stigma. <laughs> hey, it's just math. <laughs> Question: Since Dredge can talk to apps such as this game, is uh, <laughs> is Co tempted to just like whisper to it to like mess with <laughs> mess with Scarecrow? <laughs> Yeah, when when you put it to kitty mode, um, I think oh, this is Dredge uh, ch- changes your mode to whatever like nightmare mode is for fucking like Iron Man mode, but for but for pool. <laughs> what would that even be like? I think it's like <laughs> it simulates like doing it on like a rocking ship or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all, like everything is moving, but only when <laughs> Riss is taking her turn. I I think the funny part is she'll see that, she'll notice and I think she's definitely played in those conditions mm-hmm. it's not gonna like not impact her play at all but you can tell like it's not like whoa it's like okay sway with it and shoot <laughs> and, and she gives you a look a look could be anything here I need a little bit more than that I think it's like just kind of like this kind of playful okay that sounds gonna be okay 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 yeah perfect <laughs> thank you more, more you'd like to do 
Okay, so because of work hard, play hard, you both get to roll for stress relief. Excellent. That's just a 2d6? That's a just a 6? That's a 1d6. Wait, hang on. How do, <laughs> how do Bane save her? You roll, you roll a number of dice equal to the number of ticks in your connection clock with the person you're having the scene with. Scarecrow, you don't advance your clock after this, though. You only roll to relieve stress. Okay. So I've only got one. With, uh, so also, if I might la add one last detail, since it feels like we're ending the scene, sure. I think as you activate ship mode or hard mode or whatever, I think Reza responds by running the table and then scratching on the eight ball, just to prove a point. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Co just laughs. Yeah, I, I I think they yeah I I don't think it's like mean spirited. I just like mm -hmm. okay. Oh no. That's just, that's just a four, but hey, that, that's enough to... Uh, that's a two. That's oh. Yep. Alright, so, uh, zero sum game. <sighs> um, uh, That's fine. I'll just spin uh, that again for work hard, play hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And Scarecrow only got three, so... I mean, three's not bad. That means I can use one of my own and have a only 16% chance of overindulging. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Riza is not that relaxing a person to be around, so. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, you're the one who hard... wants to bring up my dark and checkered past. <laughs> Does work hard play hard uh, apply whenever you cut loose, or, or whenever anyone cuts loose with you, or just when you cut loose with a person? When you cut loose, the person you cut yeah. loose with also gets to roll to heal stress. So I think it's yeah, okay. initiating. Okay. It's if Dredge initiates the cut loose, not if uh, Ko's the, the the participant. Yeah, I just I really want to finish my clock with Dredge, mm -hmm. um, and yeah. if I cut loose, with you, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that <laughs> you've got zero or four stress, so yeah. there's a good chance that'll happen. Very <laughs> soon, I will have no bonds with anyone. D do you need a bit to decide whether or not you want to do that, Ray? Yeah, give me a bit. Okay. I'm going to make a roll now. Oh, no. So I'm doing it for Harlan Smythe because... No, that son of a bitch. Because the way that rivals work is that during downtime, they either add one die to their squad's goals or they get to roll one die of their own if they have goals that are separate from their squad. His goals are separate from the Jovengelian Jackals. Shade Spear are not part of the Jackals anyways, so they'll be getting their own roll in a little bit. He gets a four. Okay, so that'll add... This concerns me. That'll add two to... <laughs> it does in both sense of the word. So... Uh, yeah, he'll add two ticks to his clock. Um, and I think what that looks like is that over the course of this time that y'all are recuperating, you can tell that Claire is spying on Scarecrow. Like, she's not too subtle about it. I think after the two of you finish your pool game, you like look up and she's sitting on the bar watching the two of you and like doesn't say anything, has just been like listening to Risa talk about her past. This Claire Risa does throw her soda at. Yeah. <laughs> and of course it just goes right through just like to to no effect. But after that uh, oppositional gesture she winks out she doesn't like wave goodbye or say anything she just disappears but she definitely pops up like that over the course of the next couple hours or days however long y'all are spending recuperating here I, I have uh, my bond with Riza oh? uh, which is Riza has lost everyone like I have but that doesn't make <coughs> her family hmm. oh, oh hmm. Bullying, hmm. bullying. I love it. Oh. God. Just, just. Dredge, Scarecrow, and Tucer, the worst triplets. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I 
forgot how much I love bullying. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you would like that. I do, I do. Thank you, Sasha. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. So, does anyone else know what they want to do with their first downtime activity? I'm gonna cut loose. Um, I want to cut loose, but I want to go later in the order, I think, since I was just in the scene. Fair. Ray, are you still thinking about whether or not you want to potentially overindulge? Okay. Pitchfork, do you know what you want to do? I just want to heal. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, I know you've got a pretty beefy healing role between Dredge's assistance <laughs> and your own Vigorous. Yeah. Uh, I've got two level two harms, so I, I sure could use that. <laughs> Okay, so with Dredge's assistance, that'll be two dice. Oh no, two dice for engineer, plus one die for doctor. So that's three dice, plus one die because you have vigorous for four dice. And is there anything else we are forgetting? I think that's it. Okay. It. So, yeah, so what does this look like? They must have, like, a med bay or something down here, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I think it's just me limping around on my, like, grabby claw staff, <laughs> like, shining the light around and being like, is that, is that... No, that's a massage chair. <laughs> um, med medication, you bring it, it's like, oh, no, that's very expired. We're not using that. Oh, yikes. Oh, ooh. oh it's just dust now. Ooh. <laughs> You gotta measure it out into the right weight. Mm -hmm. You gotta cut it. They've got it. They've got the weight, the, the scales, like. Yeah. Um, and I am, I have a busted ankle and I'm burned out. So actually, part of this, the massage chair probably does help. <laughs> uh, yeah, no kidding. All right. So you want to roll those four dice then? Yeah. Wait, is it me or is it... You You roll the four dice. Okay. Just dredges, you know, doing the... <laughs> telling you that you need to spend more time in the massage chair, I guess. <laughs> four dice. Oh my god. That's a four. I'd like to go again. <laughs> yeah. Pitchfork starts to get up, like flinches from putting weight on the ankle, and, Dr and Dredge just puts her hand on her chest and just pushes her back into the chair. No, we're not done. Not yet. You not gotta yet. relax harder. You gotta. <laughs> can I can I can I make a suggestion here? Is the, after the first time, it's like okay, cool. You need to relax more. And then they turn on the massage chair. <laughs> okay, give us those four dice. Please. Uh. There's a six. That's there. a six. So that's three the ticks five, five, added. The four and a six. <laughs> so you actually stay at two ticks filled on your healing clock still. I do, yeah. Do you have two cash you could trade for one point in personnel to bump that up to and then just completely get rid of your harm? I'm full up on cash, but I also just don't want to spend it. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to suffer. Gay culture. Ow! Okay, so I think that that becomes... Um, Level one tired and level one sprained. And you'll get rid of burned out and busted. Cool. Thank uh, you. Okay. So, Scarecrow or Tower, do either of you know what you want to do with your first downtime? I would also like to heal, please. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's doing this now, huh? Stop it. Yes. You stop that. Okay, this is not an ASMR I AP. I'm never stopping. 
Okay, we just gotta do <laughs> downtime Wait. activity now, guys. Okay, so unfortunately, Tower does not have vigorous like Pitchfork does. So, with Dredge's assistance, you're only going to be rolling three dice. <sighs> but hey, at least you'll hopefully be getting rid of your two level one harms if this completes. Let's hope so. Is it just a fortune roll? Yeah. Yeet. That's six. So that's nice. three ticks on your healing clock. I'll spend the cash. To do it again? So yeah. Do you have cash on you? Uh, no, I don't. I'm a big dumbass. That's <laughs> mine. Uh, I'm big stupid. Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> do, do you want to borrow money from someone? I will. I have. I oh, have. Well, actually, I mean, you have another downtime activity. Yeah? Yeah, I have another downtime activity. I'm just not going to get to cut loose, and I really wanted to cut loose. Well, yeah, please get the books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so we'll hold off on your, uh, your, your second healing roll then for a moment, Tower. And yes. we'll just uh, mark the three ticks in your healing clock. Okay. Dredge, uh, Jess, I hope it's okay that we're going to have Dredge cook the books now so then everyone else will have access to the resources. That's fine. Okay. Alright. Uh, we let's... are all would die for Dredge. <laughs> you probably will. Uh, okay, so let's see. You're not wrong. Lady Elreth is... Tier 3 takes fly roll from the employer faction. Ah, uh, yes. What is your relationship with the uh, Adamant Council of Nor? Let's take a look. Uh, fine. Yeah. It's fine? It's Good neutral. Fine. Um, plus the. So, and the target's tier, you were targeting. Burden, I think it was with that mission. Um, and they they are tier two, so this will just be two dice. Okay. It's a four, five, and a four. So that's a five. So you get five supply points. Hey. So what does this look like? Um. Oh, I, I think it's. Okay. I, I I think this is. Um, I I really want to pop up back to uh to the supply level, and and like. I I think this is just buying, new temporary documents so that I can I can grab some stuff from the supply level, um. If if that's all right, like I'm I'm happy with that staying at the supply level and just for for this role, but. I like that idea. Okay, so, hold on. Are you leaving the facility to get new documents from, like, outside of the facility, or are you going back to the administrative wing, like, the very top level, to the, the top very safe level where people are actually working to get new ID? I think it's that. The administrative level one? Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, so spend your two stress if you haven't already. Yep. Okay. While you are up there, one of the March of Saints, uh, what's the right word? Supervisors sees you and recognizes you and brings you to come talk with Tusser. Great. Hey, great. Wonderful. Love it. Happy, always happy to talk to, 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 uh, what is it, Senior Ken Hartberg, always. Yeah. So. Especially when I'm working. <laughs> you're brought into her office, and she says, how's the work going? Good. Uh, we are making very good progress. We were, uh, we have just paused for a second to recover because it is pretty dangerous down there. Um, 
That's, that makes sense. that's good to hear. Do you have any... Uh, I would appreciate a fuller report before you go back down. Uh, there are a couple of AI that are st still functional, which is promising. She says, I don't need you to tell me. Put it in a document and send it to me. I could write a, a, a report for you from anywhere. Why don't you call me to your office then? Because we can't reach you while you're down there. But you had to tell me that in person. I see. You're, you're very busy and I have a very high priority for you. I fully understand. I will not take up any more of your time. Have a wonderful day. I expect that document before you go back down. It's not going to be a complete one, then. Mm, I think you'll find that you'll have the time up top before you go down again. Will I? Yes. Well, fantastic. Is there anything else? That's everything. Have a nice day. Mm-hmm. And so you're shown out, and... You're basically uh, directed to an office space in the headquarters to type up a report. And I mean, they can't verify anything you tell them. Oh shit, that's right. I can just say anything in this fucking thing. Yeah, you absolutely can. I mean, they are going to be going down there later once you say that it's all safe. Mm -hmm. But, so, I, just give me a quick rundown of like anything you purposefully are leaving out or pointedly putting in Ooh. oh man uh drugs is not an espionager <laughs> and a, a spy that's the word <laughs> you got there <laughs> uh is there really no communication between this level and the next like can i page in to be like hey what should i what should i what shit should i put in this no you can't get down there's too many levels like there's too much material in between you and the rest of the team to reach anyone and you don't have access to the internal comms okay um let's see uh probably gonna mention the, the chemical leaks in the, the first the second level um, didn't we deal with that though we did but it's probably uh, symptomatic of a bigger issue um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably gonna talk about um, hmm. should I mention the, the Shakespeare's I wonder I think that's entirely up to you. Mm hmm Um... I... What? That, that, they're, they're Jim Gellion, right? Yep. But I just, I hate the word to say it so fucking much. Um... <laughs> <laughs> So maybe maybe we mention uh, a Jovengelian faction down there, but I don't I don't say who it was. Um, and um, there's nothing down there I want. Well, oh yeah, uh, all of the research in the bioengineering wing is useless and needs to be like burned um and uh what else i i i don't i guess that's fine okay is there anything you're pointedly leaving out um well certainly oh certainly any any knowledge or or uh intel about the sovereignty engine being here at all <laughs> i had a feeling that might be the case well, no, I, 
that's 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 a little that's a little suspiciously clean. Um, I think, I, uh, I, uh, I will report a number of destroyed um, hard drives. Uh, that, uh, the 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 melted stuff that um that that tower found in the box. That's as much, uh, sovereignty engine and stuff as I found. Okay. That's what I'm reporting. Okay. All right. Um. So you're not actively like fucking with them. So. I don't know what the I, I Sasha do not know what to fuck with here. That, like that, I mean, you you could just straight up lie about what's down there if you were so inclined to like there put are them on a goose chase. Dragons. <laughs> so. Where's the lie? We don't know that there aren't. <laughs> we don't know that there aren't. He's <laughs> got a level left. Okay. So, basically, the reason I was asking about this report is because it was going to affect the fortune roll that the March of Saints are going to be making about their progress on their current project. So, when a squad rolls for their progress, they roll their squad tier, and the rival working towards the same goal adds a die. March of Saints are tier 5. That's a lot of dice. That's six dice. That's a lot of dice. Yeah. A lot of dice. That's like a disgusting amount of dice. <laughs> they get a four. <laughs> That's three ones and a two otherwise. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the goodness face. The sword. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> The baby swore! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Am I not allowed to say the fuck word? We're not in the church. The fuck word! <laughs> the fuck word! We may not be in a church, but we work for the church. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh. like employment is under dubious conditions at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you might say that. Um. <sighs> So yeah, they, <laughs> you have that very poor role as uh, not giving them a whole lot of progress on their current clock. Which... Damn, I could have said that the Sovereignty Engine plan just completely failed. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, shit. It's fine. I don't really fucking failed it. Good. We're good. Yeah, so they, they let you back in, Dredge, and you're able to provide the rest of the squad with the five supply points that you rolled earlier from cooking the books. Great. Right. Yeah. So, y'all have some access to, like, the, uh, the auto mill and the storage in the form of supply points. What do y'all want to do? Actually, Scarecrow, we still haven't done your first downtime. What do you want to do? Uh, I think I'm going to cut loose. Now the question is, who wants to cut loose with Risa? Or maybe it's, uh, who does Risa want to cut loose with? Yes, this is also a question. I'm checking the sheet right now. I think... I think she's gonna cut loose with Tower. I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do exactly, but. <laughs> I, 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 I think there's like a newfound level of respect or just, what? From just that reckless stunt and just <laughs> Tower going full like Metal Gear on this shit. <laughs> it's like, I was not expecting this. This was, this is not the bumbling I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what we can do. It, it's interesting that you were saying that you weren't expecting that kind of bumbling, and then there's that scene last downtime where Tower like ambushed yeah. Scarecrow, yeah. pinned her to the ground, took her gun, and like disassembled it. 
Look, that's just a Saturday night, okay? Come on. Don't judge. Yeah. Also, uh, Ray, you're really quiet. Is that for anyone else? Yeah, that's that just me. No. Ray, you are. Now you're silent. You're still quiet. <laughs> uh, oh, I think my microphone got jiggled weird. Hello? Hello? Uh, I might have to restart my recording. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah, that's weird. Okay. Hello? Ooh, woo? Uh, okay. Hello. Yeah, but that's, that's literally me putting my microphone in my face. Um, uh, I'm gonna... do, check, does your record, do your recording waveforms look weird? Yeah, they're really teeny tiny babies. Uh, it's it's a microphone issue. Try unplugging it and plugging it back in? I'm gonna have to restart my recording. Okay. okay. So we'll have to clap at the end, or you'll just have to suffer. Knowing how frequently I've forgotten to do claps at the end, it'll be all suffer. I could just do a clap now. <laughs> While we're thinking about it. No. Ooh, woo. There, you're back. Ooh, woo. Yay! Ooh, woo, 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 okay, woo, yeah, woo, woo. I just need to unplug and uh, plug back in my microphone. And I'm recording again, and my waveforms look normal. So oh, we're all good. Okay, so, so about this yeah, downtime nice. activity. Yeah, sorry about that. I think my yeah. the, the connector cable on my microphone is sometimes really finicky. So. Okay, so we are... What are the two of you doing to cut loose? How, okay, uh, real fast, how long are we kind of estimating that we've set aside for this downtime session, like, in fictional terms? Uh, probably a couple of days, because y'all had seven days to do this mission. You spent basically the entire first one clearing three levels. So you've got a lot of time before you have to, ta to tackle that last one. Yeah, I had imagined this being like two or three days at least. Probably. Yeah. Um, well in that case... I think that Riza wants to go drinking. Okay. Where? Um, I imagine that there would be... Okay. I would imagine that there would be liquor on base at the um, March of Saints thing. Like there'd be like a. Wait, hold up, March of Saints. How? It's not a dry county, is it? That that would upset the plans. <laughs> um, I mean, he. I'm. Sh there's. It is a March of Saints headquarters, but there are lots of people who are not March of Saints who are just employed by them for labor or coerced by them into labor. So, it you. I'm not going to have any rolls here, but you can definitely find booze if you go looking for it. Hmm. The other option, I think, would also be, since we've established that there are drinks downstairs, is actually, like, getting in the guts of it and, like, hacking that and saying, no, I want my booze. <laughs> I think I, I really like I that I, one. I, I like that, yeah. Less All potential right. for a bar, which is fun for Riza, but... I'm Good. down. Sure. Fuck it. Um, so if I might suggest a framing, I don't think this actually starts as a cut loose. I think this is... I think Tower, like, comes into the room and sees Riza behind the counter, like, fucking with stuff under there. It's like a... It's kind of a what's going on situation. Can I actually ask... Austin, what's the drinking age in... Wherever we... In <laughs> what, whatever part of, uh place we are i'm forgetting names right now uh, are you talking about the broken bank specifically no like <laughs> you know journey city this whole like island y'all are on or the church of the celestial myriad uh like whichever would have the most jurisdiction right where we actually are i mean Didn't power used to work at a bar that changes nothing it was a bar in the broken bank <laughs> <laughs> i mean Y'all are still in the broken bank underground, so I don't think there's a whole lot of jurisdiction, okay. period. <laughs> okay. Underground law! Tunnel snakes rule! Okay, because 
tower is definitely not legal drinking age in like anywhere that's not the broken bank. I thought they were in their 20s. I'm gonna say they're like 20. Okay. I'm assuming this is not Canada. Uh, who knows what the drinking age is like in the, okay, these well, various then... factions. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, I just, but it's it's fine. Yeah, you can just have it that Tower is used to not being drink legal drinking age. Yeah. 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 I think like they they just like either that or they just like haven't drunk since shitty like high school parties. And Hell so, yeah, like, high school parties. Okay. So, Ray, I have a question for you. Sorry. Does Tower make themselves known when uh when they come into the room? No. <laughs> okay, cool. So I think Riza comes up, two shot glasses, puts them up. I think it's got those like those special nozzles, like with the that you push a cup up into. It pours, okay. pours up two shots of something brown, sets them down, and then she slides one over the bar like she totally meant to share, and those weren't both for her. <laughs> <laughs> it will remind you. I have four in Prowl. You may not just, you may just not know I'm there. The, okay, uh, uh, are you making an active effort to hide? I, I will accept that, like, casually you just don't make a noise coming to the room. That's fine. I, but, like, I, I don't think I'm making an active effort to hide. I just think, like, I think my passive hidiness <laughs> is, just, <laughs> is just sort of high enough that there's a possibility that you maybe just don't notice me coming in. Okay, in that case, how many drinks down does Riza get before you make before you ahem? I think I think enough that it's at a point the tower starts getting concerned. <laughs> um, like like not like concerned concerned, but just like um uh like like that was that was a very quick span of time. Okay. Um, <laughs> it sounds like it might be three or four shots yeah. down down uh, Scarecrow's throat before Look, a tower. I'm a Jewish child. I don't do the alcohols. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so I'll let you make that decision, but you know. Okay. So I I, I think. Just to expedite this, I think Scarecrow just downs those two shots. Since I like that fiction. I like that attempt to do that fiction, so I like the two shot glasses thing. Yeah. And then she starts immediately going for a third. And that's when it's like, wait, those just went back. To what the shit? So, so third shot down. Tower, are you stepping in? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Tower is going to just like give a little like knuckle like at the door frame. Oh. Uh sorry, I just spilled a bunch of paper. Um yeah. and then like sort of kind of quietly make their way over across from where uh Reese is sitting and just like sit across from her pretending to be occupied with something else. Yeah. Like just like I got their phone well, open I think or whatever. Behind the bar, I think she's standing, which I think is even worse. <laughs> yep. Um, and um, she, she looks up and I feel like the silence is a little tense. It's like, it used to be like, oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Except you've just walked in and very deliberately not engaged. <laughs> so I think she puts down her fourth drink then she reaches behind the bar, finds a glass, and it's actually like dusty as shit, so she actually like wipes it down. She slaps yeah. it down on the bar. What's your poison? I don't know anything about <laughs> alcohol. I, I Ray don't know anything about alcohol. So, um I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna abstract out a little here. <laughs> Cause sure. I don't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> also it's future booze. Give me some of that sweet, sweet future booze. <laughs> Tower doesn't say that, but <laughs> that's the gist. I can totally see there being like a corporatocracy and Exodus Republic Inc. brand that is just future booze. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. The views and of the like, future. And it's like the equivalent of like. Astronaut ice cream, but booze. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking. I mean, I mean, yeah. I was thinking it was like the equivalent of like shitty, like cheap college party beer. So that's like the only thing the tower knows <laughs> the name of. <laughs> oh god, but it's like, but it's like astronaut ice cream, so it's like styrofoam, and you have to like bite into it, and then it or dissolves like, in your mouth. Or it's like oh, cool. or whatever. It's gross. And I'll, I will note that Tower did serve drinks, and Tower did not know the names of literally anything. <laughs> this was a broken bank. No one had standards. Okay. So actually, I have a great idea here. So you're asking for future booze. Yeah. The, 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 and I think that stuff doesn't come on tap. So yeah. she, goes, she goes behind the bar and, like, looks in the fridge or whatever and pulls it up. She looks at the date. <laughs> she bins it. Aww. She pours you a whiskey. <laughs> she said, no. <laughs> She's just like, you're not having that. Oh, ugh. Fair. I trust your judgment here. Uh, and <laughs> they, um, they ice? Like, um. Again, I ray. Uh. Don't know things. Um, sure. Okay, real quick. Okay, cool. She throws sure. in ice. Just real quick uh, primer. Ice is more sippy. Um, yeah. Straight is more sippy. See, the thing, the mental image I had was um, <laughs> she'd pour me a shot glass and I'd just start sipping the shot glass. Because <laughs> 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 I don't want to. That's what I would do in this situation. <laughs> tiny gay would probably be doing so. <laughs> a tiny glass for the tiny gay. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's proportionate. Okay. And I, I, I think in reaction to that, I, I think Skickers would be like, no, no, put that down. Just go and she it. gets like an actual glass and actually like makes like a mixed drink. And slides that across the bar. Something fruity. Thank you. There. Is that better? Yes. Thank you. Okay. She reaches over and grabs the shot and downs that. You don't have anything, do you? Anything? Yeah. I mean, not a lot comes back out and spit and just. Hmm? <laughs> if, if, if. if... Ah! <laughs> I love the awkwardness. You're gonna have to use your words. <laughs> You're healthy, right? Uh, I think so. Good um, enough for me. Good enough for me. She I says that having already done the shot. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, okay. I thought there were different implications there. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> for a second. Um. <laughs> I thought there were different implications going on there. <laughs> Is that sort of like awkward drinking the, what goes on or is there more to this sea? Um, I think Tower is going to keep awkwardly drinking until um, Frieza poses a question or anything. Um, so I'm leaving that up to you. Okay. <laughs> now I have to think of interesting questions. <laughs> no pressure. Um... Or drink in awkward silence. That too. So I think, 
Okay, so I think I know how this is going to go. Um, I think this is actually going to get to the point of being pretty drunk on both parties' side. As drunk as Tower is willing to get themselves. Reese isn't going to, like, browbeat them into drinking. Um, but Reese definitely gets fairly hosed. And I, I, I think there's a bit of a casual kind of, you know, she pulls up AR, she puts on some music that she's into, and, you know, the bar kind of lights up a bit. Maybe, like, just keeping the mood kind of casual, laying things down, but eventually she gets fairly hosed, and I think to abstract, she just kind of gets like, you know, uh, Tower, you know, you gotta... You gotta be careful with these Shadespear guys. Like, it's like, this isn't kid stuff. Like, they will fucking kill you. And, like, she's just, like, she's definitely compromised. And she's just, like, no, Tower, you know, you gotta, you, you can't let them get behind you because they, they kill people and they're bad and they're sneaky and I don't want you to die, you know? I'm glad and, to hear that. Yeah, I think Reese is just, like, getting huggy drunk. <laughs> okay. Um, I think at some point, Tower just, like, sort of starts to lead her out and, like, finds a blanket and, like, puts her in one of the massage chairs. <laughs> <laughs> not while it's on! I'm not that mean. They are considering at some point very early in the morning going out and turning it on, but that's a different matter. Um, just shake Scarecrow like a can of pop. <laughs> Uh, so while the two of you are in there drinking before you take Scarecrow out and put her to bed, definitely one of the Shade Spear soldiers comes into the bar, like with <laughs> yeah. their faceless, like uh, yeah. bulletproof glass plate helmet and like their body armor, and just like this faceless goon walks in, goes behind the bar, like takes a whiskey bottle, and like. <laughs> Head, st head starts heading back to the door and then stops in the doorway and like gestures with it at the two of you and then leaves. <laughs> yeah, Scarecrow definitely raises a glass to that. I think Tower just kind of nods. Which honestly, in my mind, comes with her like drunkenly slurring up, raise a glass to the floor. Oh god, is Scarecrow. the Scarecrow like start drunkenly singing the Jovangelian anthem? Yes. <laughs> Oh god. Yes, oh no. Does Scarecrow start sing start drunkenly singing sci fi Hamilton? Because that's <laughs> worse. I don't like that. Sci fi Jovangelian Hamilton. Uh, we heard a pop cover of a Hamilton song in the airy yesterday while we were checking out, and we were like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> uh, I did uh, I did burn for my grade 9 vocal culminating. Oh no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bad. So, I think I, I, I'm just. I, I don't have a high enough voice for that song. I'm not a soprano. I'm sorry. <laughs> so okay. I'm curious about core reaction. I love. I I want to know. Like, imagine Dredge is walking to go somewhere, when when coheres the Joven Gellian anthem being drunkenly sung by Scarecrow. As Tower leads her to a place to like sleep it off, what's Dredge's reaction? Ah, uh, God, um, just like fucking disgust, mostly. Uh, like that was like, of course that was the fucking song you reached for when you were drunk. Of course it fucking was. <laughs> yeah, I and I, I I think so. So I think two two details I want to throw in there. One, I think Risa sings very well. I think she was a lady of good breeding before the whole Shakespeare incident. So I think you know classically trained. Um, but also I think she does that thing, and like I'm I'm not good at musical theory, but like she just sings it sadly. I think like mm. it's not like I'm proud to be Joven Galia. It's like. Like it's 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 a little mournful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In, a minor, in a minor key. Mm. <laughs> no. Stop. <laughs> Stop that. Okay. So, Scarecrow, 
Roll to relieve stress. And that's based on my links with uh, tower, right? Yeah. So how many dice is that? One die. Okay. Three. There we go. No overindulging. So clear yeah, three that, stress. Down two stress. And I think, yeah, that's all the cutting loose I'm going to do today. Okay. I'm going to roll for Shade Spear. And see, uh, see if they actually hold on. I have to, f I have to figure out what tier they are. What, what squad would they fall under? Yeah, they're probably tier three, I think. Okay. Hmm. It didn't. Roll. Odd. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's try this. What? It just says rolling the dice. Why is this? I mean, sometimes it takes a while, but you might want to reconnect. Yeah, I think I might need to. Oh, there, there it go. God damn it. I can't see it. As soon as I, as soon as I refreshed, it did the roll, and then, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take us back to the talk screen while I try and get my <laughs> roll twenty to reconnect. Uh, okay, so while I do that, does anyone else have any ideas for what they want to do? Uh, when. When a mech takes a point of breakdown, the quirks are refreshed. Is that right? Uh, yes. Cool. I don't know. Oh, I do need to repair it though. Um. <laughs> so I might do that. Um, I can't remember how to do repairs. Uh. Also not as prepared for this as I thought I was. Sorry. Rest in peace. Well, remember to spend your one cash for this extra action. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be spending that with the uh, cookbook stuff that I grabbed because <laughs> I don't have any cash. Um. All right. Okay, doing the shade spear roll now. There we go. They got fives. So. Yikes. All right. Okay, so they're they're gonna have two ticks added to their clock. So yeah, you, the the four of you definitely see them like going about the halls during these couple of days. They're every so often they're carrying some piece of technology that it's not necessarily clear what it is. Um, but they they. Hmm. I think I think that between the four of you and the observation like you four are clever people you know you are skilled pilots yes you make mistakes and bad things happen but you know you know your business and so I think that between the four of you you're able to put together that they are taking parts and machines from various parts of the facility and they're building some kind of like information center in the R&D level so okay so dredge you are going to be fixing the magpie i would i would like to i don't know that i can having found the fix section in the rules mhm mm uh do I maintain my workshop squad upgrade? Okay, so I will let you use the auto mill to count as a workshop. Fantastic, thank you. Um, then it's just rolling, rolling engineer. It looks like. Yep. Straight up, just doing that. All right, cool. I'm gonna just gonna do that. So hmm, four and three. Okay, so add two ticks to your mend clock. 
And you can spend material, one material point per to add more ticks. But I don't know if you would rather roll to repair again. I think I, I think I would like to. Um, I I'm much more useful with, in my mech than outside of it. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna spend another uh, of those points, supply points, to uh, roll again. Okay. And then I will stop taking up the squad's money, <laughs> and y'all can do what you want. Uh, there's a six. There we go. So add three ticks. So you get rid of wonky and broken arm becomes a uh, uh, strained arm. I'll say. You've, you've, I think like the magpie has very specific parts. And so I think that the arms that were broken by the zombies they now look different because the parts you've replaced them with are somewhat ad hoc. So we did find we did find a weirdly uh, similar pair of mechs up on the um, top right. floor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you you can harvest them for arms for the magpie. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Cool. Yes. Hey. Actually, yeah, change that strained arm to mismatched arm. Nice. That's cute. I love that. I like that. Okay. Does anyone else have any other downtime activities that they know they want to do? I would like um, more healing, please. All of you need to stop cursing the stream and this podcast with ASMR. Me? Stopping cursing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna mute Ray now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I do need to. I would like to pull up that clock. Okay, so. Um, I only need one tick. So. Uh, spend spend a cash or one materiel. Well, no, I've got one more downtime. Oh, awesome! All right, then we'll roll those three dice. Wait. Thank you. Yeah. As as Dredge tends to your battered mending rib and shocked injuries. Thank you, Dredge. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a six. Oh, yeah, that's a six. So add oh. three ticks. You get rid of shocked, mending rib, and battered becomes bruised. Yay! Uh, and then... So I have one tick. No, I have two ticks now. On the bruised. Um, but I'm not gonna do anything um, about that yet. Yet. I need to cut loose. No, you... Uh, Overindulge. Ah oh, yes, you wanted to cut loose with Dredge. Is that is like getting treated by Dredge part of the cut loose scene? I don't know that it is. I don't know that I want it to be. Okay. Um, I think I think Tower is like trying to establish more of like a that they can be kind of a little more independent. Um and I, I don't know I don't know exactly how that manifests in a cut loose. I am going to spend one of those points though. <laughs> if that's okay. To have that cut loose. Yeah. Okay. So that's alright with y'all. Mm -hmm. We still have a floating advance because we always have a floating advance. I forgot. Because we're a floating us. advance the name of a bar in my next campaign. <laughs> um Will so it be I'm... a barge? Oh my god. <laughs> Bad. Bad. No. Curse. I mean, you're not wrong, but you shouldn't say it. <laughs> will, it will, will it be like that? That boat that's also a lobster restaurant on like the harbor front in Toronto? <laughs> that closed a couple of years back? Who knows. Okay, so. I don't know. I mean... 
Sasha, what do you want this scene to be like? Um. Hmm. I I like the idea of um of tower like coming in, getting getting fixed up, and then like being being weirdly formal the entire time. <laughs> um, and then later like like uh, quote unquote after hours sending a message just be like, hey, do you want to <laughs> after <laughs> now that work is over? Yeah, I really like that. Um. I mean, I kind of like the idea of of them just like inviting Dredge to just like go up to one of the higher levels with some like cool equipment and stuff and just like tinker for a couple of hours. Yeah. Oh, do you do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna help me uh, figure out what broke on the bear? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, that's very good. Uh. Or like maybe we could like go up and get the arm for the the magpie and just like oh I like oh that'd be super useful because uh you you, you have a, a mech that can carry it probably yeah I do yeah let's do that um yeah and I think like it's just it's a lot of like walking down hallways and like you sort of directing while tower climbs in shit as established um by our long night in the mech bay game um. And I, I think it's just like I think I think we get the arm and then like Tower just sort of stashes it with the mantis and we like go off and like just like find some other shit to fuck with. Like I think I think Tower tries to pilot one of the mechs we're scavenging from and it goes very poorly. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> um You know, just like stupid shit. Just like fucking around on the on the upper levels a bit. Ah, uh, it like I, I think Dredge gets into one of the, one of the spares, uh, and the controls are like different, but they're not that different. But they're enough that like uh, Co keeps hitting the wrong like buttons, like the muscle memory is in the wrong spots. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think like at some point, I think, and I don't know if Dredge accepts this. Uh, that we get a couple of bears and go jousting on them. Yes. Uh huh. Um, because we're both very stressed out, and sometimes you just need to do stupid shit when you're very stressed out. It's it's testing. It's for testing. We need yeah, to see yeah. uh, how these break down when they're yeah, what um, this, what the each other. Is like. <laughs> yeah. I I mean I w the implication was that Tower was gonna sit on one of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, like... <laughs> the two of you while doing that definitely, like, Harlan Smythe is, like, passing by with, like, <laughs> some supplies, sees the two of you do that, stops and, like, watches for a couple minutes, and then just shakes his head and, like, <laughs> keeps going. <laughs> just not 100% fucking around. There, I, I mean... Dredge could, like, come up with some scientific explanations for what they're doing. Like, this is clearly research. Clearly research. It's, it's gonna write it down as research and also, um, um, what is it? Fucking bill it as research to the, to the March of Saints, but, uh... <laughs> for tax purposes. For tax purposes. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, and I kind of like the idea of, like, us sort of eventually just, like, battered and bruised. Um, and I think I think what happened is I healed all of my harm, and then we did this, and I got burned again. <laughs> well, you were the one who wanted to ride on them. Um, <laughs> yes, reckless. I was. Hello. I don't regret any of my choices. <laughs> so is Dredge not riding the other bear? Uh, see, here's the thing. Dredge has has ridden these at least once and knows how to knows their their cadence a little bit better and so knows when to bail and i don't i don't think that tower does or if, no. if tower does then they don't yep yeah yeah no <laughs> okay uh, i think like eventually we just sort of go traipsing back up to like the lounge and like get some like shitty vending machine coffee or whatever um and just like sit on a couch for like 10 minutes just like not speaking just like 
Just, just exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tower. <laughs> so tower has four stress and three connection with dredge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, if I was gonna overindulge in anything, might as well be jousting. Yeah. Um, so, let's do this. Three dice? Three dice. Oh my god. Three. Oh! Yeah. Tower. Okay. That, mean, even? that means that, that you overindulge. So, yeah, so, no, I get that, but like, what does the crit mean there? Oh, you don't, you can't crit on, uh, Aww. cut loose. Okay, well, at least I, at least I got rid of all my stress. That's good, right? Yeah, so, uh, before, before we deal with your overindulging, fill your connection clock. Yep, did do that. Okay, and then clear it. Okay. And ask a truth relating to... Or... No, no, those will get erased too, but before you erase them... Ask a truth relating to one of your beliefs about Dredge, and Sasha will answer truthfully. Why don't, oh, go ahead. No, what were you? I was gonna say, why don't you read out the belief, the three beliefs that you have? Uh, Dredge seems lost. I want to help Co find Corway before uh, Co gets us killed. I feel like I can trust Dredge, but I'm not sure how far that trust will get us. Uh, and by Ocor, I need to repay my debt no matter what. Um, I think my question is, does it have to be a question in character? No, not at all. Or, um, is Tower going in the right direction to make things right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry to make that a simple one, but like... Yeah, no, I just, like, I think that is Tower's burning question. Mm -hmm. Is, like, they are trying very hard to make things better and to to make right what they fucked up. Um, there was there was a moment in the last mission, and, and, and if, if you if you ask, this code will tell you this, um, where... Um, I kind of want this to be in character, actually. Okay. I, think, yeah. I think this is in character. Sorry, I just... Yeah, no, no, no. Um, where, you know, we fought another dragon, and um, you were there this time, and I did not get burned again because you were there this time. And in my book, that makes a square. I think they just sort of nod, uh, and like, think, I think they, they like, found, mm. um, some, like, I think what they found was, like, a freezer full of, like, um, like, things you could heat up that, like, hadn't gone bad, and I think they made some, like, they're kind of weird, but not altogether bad, like, cinnamon roll things? Because that's a thing I've seen in the real world. It's frozen cinnamon roll dough. Um, so I think they like made that and just like hand you the plate of those and just like sort of just like yeah. Yeah. And I think like the viewer can sort of see like their shoulders like visibly relax a little. Uh, Dredge like reaches out and, and like pats you on the shoulder. He's like, hey. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I think that's where the scene ends. Nice. So clear all three beliefs you have with Dredge, and both of you mark XP. You Yay! Can, you can decide where that XP goes. Okay, now for your overindulging. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to attract trouble and I will roll an additional entanglement for y'all 
Do you want to brag and take a minus two trust with your Patreon faction? Do you want to go AWOL and vanish <laughs> for a few weeks? And then you can play someone else. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. No. Or, <laughs> or do you want to do impropriety? You do something that, like, messes up your relationship with Dredge. And oh. normally you would reset your connection clock. But if your connection is already at zero, which it is, you take the level one harm alone. No, I'm not doing that, in fact. Um, so that means attract gonna trouble attract or attention. you're going to attract <laughs> trouble? We were, we, were, we were jousting. I think that's pretty prime grounds for attracting trouble. Okay. You know what would be great is if, if the jousting was fine, but someone was actually keeping those cinnamon rolls for later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, 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 all I can see is Will Smith. I was saving that cinnamon roll. Yep. Okay. We fucked over one of the other squads. We ate their cinnamon <coughs> rolls. How could we? God. There's so little down, down here. Is this like some filler episode bullshit, and I am all for it? Yeah, alright. I'm gonna have to, So, we're gonna take a break, because I gotta figure out what table to roll this <laughs> entanglement on. Which, which of these makes sense for this very unusual situation? <laughs> yep. Um... So yeah, we are going to take a break, and we will be back in about five minutes, everyone. See you then. <laughs>